I'm Jeff Teague. How are you going to decide between this and that? Between a 2024 Forerunner SR5 in midnight black and its big brother SR5 Premium in ice cap. Well, the color of the vehicle is not all that important, but the trim level is. This is a natural comparison. Potential buyers might be thinking, I don't want TRD off-road. I don't want limited. I don't want the TRD Pro. But do you want the SR5 family? SR5 right here has great features and it's got that base entry level price. But SR5 Premium steps up the features, maybe you see some on the outside. Steps up the features, but it also, of course, increases the price. But by how much? That's a good question. What is it gonna add in features and cost? We're gonna get an interior first look at both of these. One thing you want to know is in the SR5 family, you can have cargo area with three different configurations. It can be empty like that one, it can have third row seating, or it can have that sliding rear cargo deck. Ah, spoiler alert, I'd look at the seating when I'm trying to figure out differences between the two. That could be a key area. But what else? We've been wondering this for several years with this current generation, SR5 versus SR5 Premium. TRD Off-Road versus TRD Off-Road Premium. It's a tough choice for some, but for others, it's a crystal clear decision of which way to go, which way to swing here. That is not standard on an SR5 Premium. They both have the same powertrain. It's a 4.0 liter V6 engine with a five-speed automatic transmission, 270 horsepower, 278 pound-feet of torque. But what about these changes? It's like famous poet David Bowie once said, ch 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 changes turn and face the strange ch ch changes. And I think he was talking about the dilemma that buyers have when choosing these two trims. If you're doing an exterior walk, the easiest thing to do is to see if the turn signal's on. Hmm, this is an SR5. Do we have turn signal indicator? No, we do not. Bet you know what's going to happen with the SR5 Premium. That's right. Turn signal indicator on the SR5 Premium. So you'll look like a genius because you know the difference between this one and this one with the turn signal on or off. See, even if it's not lit, look at that. And then look at this. Easy way to tell. Another thing you could do is look at the side passenger seat. Look here. SR5 has sport fabric seats. Very nice looking, nice two-tone, no moonroof, but here it's a manually operated seat, okay? That should give it away, right? Boom, the seat says so. I lean forward, I lean back, I lean back, I lean back. SR5 passenger seat, oh, ho, 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 look at that. It is a power seat. It reclines, it goes back, it leans back. It leans back, but it also has the ability to go forward and backward, so there's no bar down here. There's also not the ability to go up and down or twist on this one. Hey, these aren't sport fabric seats. That means that you have Softex seats in the two-tone. Softex in the two-tones. Sounds like a band from the 50s, right? Or like Tommy Two-Tones. Maybe that's it. Eight six seven five three zero oh, nine. Here we go. Okay, so Softex seats with a power passenger seat on SR5 Premium, that's all standard. Now this one right here, waka 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 waka, that is not standard on SR5 Premium, not standard on TRD Off-Road Premium, by the way. So that's something that you would have to add. If this is the price is right, you're gonna win that pricing game. And we'll know what that official number is at the end of the video when I show you the window stickers for both rides. Nice enough looking dash. It's been this way for a long time. It got upgraded for 2020, but not quite enough. We're waiting for the next gen for a full multimedia redesign. But look at this right here. So we come in right over here and you click the map button on the SR5. And it just says the nav app is not installed. Check the Toyota website for compatible apps. That means navigation is not standard on an SR5. Nice back seat. Nice back window, more like it. Ooh, next gen 4Runner, Toyota do not take that away. People will revolt, they will destroy you. I think they won't, maybe they will. SR5 Premium, they both have the 8 inch screen, they both have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, 
Not wireless though, no, 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 no. But if you push the map on the SR5 Premium, you'll get Toyota's dynamic navigation system. This is not Toyota Audio Multimedia. I assume that'll be coming with the next gen when that ever comes out. But right here, we've got dynamic navigation system. You could do some things cool with it. Find nearby Italian restaurants. Let's see the response time here. Showing results for Italian. Oh, Let's nice. Go. Gonna get me a tour of Italy. Boom, holla. To navigate to this point of interest, say starting guidance for a new route. So the SR5 Premium does have dynamic navigation system. And of course, all the trim levels. I just like doing this. Has this. That's nice. Boom. Power window. To the window. To the wall. Sweat running down. No, forget it. Another one on the SR5. You're not going to find heated seats anywhere. No matter how much we look in this beautiful, gorgeous interior. So spacious. So cavernous. So much room. Hope they don't take away much room in the next gen. Here's our shifter. By the way, these are part-time four-wheel drive. If you want full-time four-wheel drive, you'll go with the limited trim, but I don't see anything for front heated seats. But in the SR5 Premium, I guess if I look enough, maybe I'll see something. What am I gonna see? Well, you know I'm gonna find heated seats. I just kinda wanna show you around here. This is a two-wheel drive, so if it's not that four-wheel drive like the SR5 Premium, it won't have the knob to switch between two and four, yo. Oh, heated seats in the house and it's variable heated so you can be super hot, super cold, however you want, but it's not cooled seats. Got some window stickers here. Let's start with SR5 and after this, we're gonna be doing a quick walk around of our friend 4Runner so you can just see inside, outside, the second row seating, that kind of stuff. SR5, this is made in Japan. This is the four wheel drive, you can do two or four safety ratings. Here's the fuel mileage combine for 17. Interesting. What's interesting to me is the fuel mileage is the same two wheel versus four wheel. You'll see what I mean. Here we go. This has Toyota Safety Sense P. So I assume with the next gen 4Runner, it'll have an advanced Toyota Safety Sense evolution. Here we go 42, 580. Now, how much more do you think the SR5 Premium is going to be? Now, this is four-wheel drive, so remember, you're going to lose some money, some cost, when you go with the two-wheel drive. So that could affect things. This is not complete apples to apples. These are some things that were added at the regional assembly port. This one's available at Fred Anderson Toyota in Raleigh. SR5 Premium, two-wheel drive. Here we go. Okay, you'll see some options that are different here. There we go. Power and heated seats. The dynamic navigation system. See the moonroof was $630. Here we go. We're going to add in some options here on this one. This one's also available at Fred Anderson Toyota. They supply my vehicles. So, Go to fredandersontoyota.com if you want to see all of their inventory. There's a lot. And if you're looking for price differences, really apples to apples, we're going to get about $3,000 difference between a two-wheel drive SR5 and a two-wheel drive SR5 Premium. $40,700, $43,700. And now I'm going to do an inside walk. We'll just go through the back end so you can see the features, the second row so you can see the features, the front row so you can see the features on both of them. It'll be real quick, but I want to give you a tour. I just wanted to save that for the end because it's extra fluff, extra bonus material. Looking in here, we have a big squared off cargo area. The opening is huge. It's got a tow hitch, 5,000 pound tow capacity, and we see things that you can tie down, affix, strap, bungee, all that jazz right here. There we go. Nothing there, that's empty, but you could have the sliding cargo deck that pulls out or the third row seats underneath this mat that would come up and expose a third row that just pops out like a volcano in a disaster movie. It just comes up out of nowhere. Here we go, we've got some 400 watts of power, 12 volt circular port, and we can put these seats down 
like that. Oh, wait a minute, we can't. That's right, because what you'll want to do is pull this right here, put the headrest down like so, and then pop that button. There we go. So now it folds down just about flat. Look at that, the versatility. You can put cargo here, passengers here, however you want it. Our selector, our gear selector, little bins and storage compartments. There's the rear window right here. Come to my window, don't take away the power window, Toyota. All right, what about up top here? Sunglass holder, nice. SOS button, lights, lights, and a slider with the lights. The slider's right here on the end. Our five premium is gonna be more of a recap. There's really nothing new to show, even here. See, soft tech seats. Uh-huh. Very nice, still has the rear air rear connectivity there with the two USBs. Optional moonroof, soft tech seat standard, power passenger seat standard. Uh-huh. There we go. There we go. And there we go. Another difference in the SR5. What are we looking for here? What's Jeff going to show us? Oh yeah, there's no home link programming for garage door openers. However, in the SR5 Premium, they're right here. Yes, home link for garage door openers. Now we can open our garage. Which one are you gonna choose and why? SR5 Premium, SR5. Does cost matter? Do the features matter? You tell me. If you don't want those, which trim level would you pick? What's your SUV, truck, or car of choice? Tell me in the comment section. Thanks so much for watching. I'm at Toyota Jeff Reviews. We've got four platforms, so whatever you follow on social media, follow me. It's different content on each one. Toyota Jeff Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and Facebook. Woo, that's where I am. All right, and then Auto Jeff Reviews looks at Toyota, Lexus, but every brand. It's my second channel, we're branching out. We wanna explore everything. I wanna show you the technology in a Hyundai. I wanna show it in a BMW. I'm gonna show it in a Honda. See how it compares to Toyotas because a lot of choices out there, people keep choosing Toyotas, but why? Is there a difference? Maybe something jumps out at you. That's what we find out on Auto Jeff Reviews. See you next time. Auto Jeff, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and Facebook. See ya. And if you love 4Runner, click on that 4Runner playlist. I've got over 100 videos just on 4Runner alone. All different years, so if you're looking for a pre-owned vehicle, you'll probably find a review in the selection. Also, trim level comparisons. Woo, we do that comparing against competitors, how-tos, buttons, controls, dials, all that jazz. Thanks for watching.